Semi abbreviated round, only the seven games coming up this week. And we start with, uh, you'll hear this call on SEN League, which is the Sharkies taking on the Bulldogs. So looking forward to that as I try and boot up uh, the team list changes. But it, uh, it's going to be interesting to see whether Sherry, there's some fair bit of doubt around Bronson Sherry as to whether he would be participating for the Bulldogs. Here we go. Okay, so Blake Taff takes over at fullback. That's a concern. That means that Connor Tracy has entered the concussion protocols after the high shot that led to Junior Ponga being sent off. Bronson Sherry is back on deck. Okay, mm -hmm. there you go. So Drew Hutchison makes way. Skipper Stephen Crichton is among the reserves, and he's the captain. So if he's good, he'll be playing. I've got no doubt about that. Um, and Jacob Preston is listed as 18th man. Okay, so he may return from a foot injury as well. For the Sharkies, coach Craig Fitzgibbon sticks with the same 17 that went down to the Dolphins. However... Back row Teague Wilton, who hasn't played since round 13 due to a shoulder injury, is in the frame after being listed among the reserves. So that's very interesting. I, when I was doing the, uh, my sort of numbers, I hadn't prepared for Bronson Sherry to be in the side and I hadn't prepared for Preston to be in the side, but they look as though they may well be on track. And you want to take us back to the late 80s, aren't you, Brian? 1990, in fact. I don't know if anyone, uh, if you're a Cronulla supporter, you, you, I remember this. What it might have been a Warren Boland Saturday afternoon. Play the audio, please, Brasco Dom. Over the halfway mark, done. Lamb and Speechley are into it. And Lamb has just flattened and Speechley. I think you will see that he took a, he took a swinging arm from Speechley in the first instance. It'll be interesting here. Yes, anyone remembers this? Who's the voice? Is that, I don't is see that, Warren Bowen. Is, is that Heaps? Moose to say. That's Heaps. Really Graham Hughes, isn't no. it? That was, that was. Not even Maurice, no? Don't know, but I know he got him. It was, was. got it's split him, I think it was something like 20 stitches. Jeez, I used to love Bar. <laughs> I, I used to love him. Speechly looked a bit like Robbie Slater. Yeah, yeah, throw, yeah, 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 and throwing a little bit of Mark Woodford. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, and sprinkle a little bit on that uh, the ginger referee that we've got going around. Oh, now. yes, 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 yes. Todd, um, uh, Todd Smith, Smith, Smith. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know the redhead, Spike. that yeah, redhead yeah, look, yeah, yeah, spiky yeah, yeah. redhead. Yeah, yeah. Speech copy. Was there a neater player, a better dress player than Mark Woodford? Always tucked in. Oh, he was a great tucker. Yannick Noah. Todd Yannick Woodridge. Noah was well Yannick dressed. Yannick Noah had some of the best pins uh, that I used to dig. Mm. I mean, Steffi Graf was the grouse. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. then Yannick Noah just came from nowhere and did a booze. I know I've spoken about uh, our girl, um, Shontek. Oh, eager. Have we ever had in the history of sport two lower profile people than the number one golfer, Scotty Scheffler? And Iga Shiontek. No, he, he's Scotty Scheffler's not. He's low profile. Not after he got arrested. Mate, for how? For how? Yeah, that helped. Yeah. Have you seen that? Have you seen just on our side? Now I've got to get back to uh, TLT. Did you see how much his caddies earned so far this year, just in the 2024 well, he's season? He's at 24, 25 million. Yeah, but he gets 10% for the majors. I think he's up to 40 now. Oh. But he gets 10% of the majors for the caddy fee, 7% for anything else. I think he's. I think Where's he's on he about sit five. On the list. So he he's got more than Rory. <laughs> Rory's only earned a million. Because yeah, Scheffler's got more points than second and third on well, the hey, hey, card. The caddy's got more yeah, than Rory. Yeah. Uh, prize money. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's fantastic. Take us to game okay. two, Brian. Let's go. Uh, okay, this is the Warriors. I went the Warriors. Here we go. Warriors. No. And the Broncos. That's right. Yes. Sorry, boys. You're yeah, right the first time, bro. Oh, go sorry, I'm just going mad. I'm going He's down back. That they need him back. Khan Pereira scored four okay. tries on that so wing. So Sean Johnson. See you later. Yep. <laughs> um, Tamari Martin. He's going to be the seven. And Cht is coming in at five eight. Dallin Watini. Zalelsniak, he's back. Zalelsniak. So Ed Cozzi is gone to the reserves. Um, Mitch Barnett and why has he gone to the reserves? Ed has. Why? Because he didn't bring his cozies. <laughs> he played in his undies. He need to bring his cozies. Mitch Barnett and uh, Kirk Cape will have both been named to play. We don't know if that's going to if they're going to back up. Well, Mitchy Barnett will. Well, maybe not. And Freddie Lussick has been added to the Richardson. Okay, the Broncos. Come on, Thyroid. Reese Walsh, Pat Carrigan, Payne yeah. Haas. They're all listed among the reserves. Tristan Saylor. Oh, look at this. They're going to make a decision about them, so they've named them. But Tristan Saylor will be at fullback if something happens to the beautiful eyes. Jesse Arthurs. Uh, uncle's back. Oh, that's good. Because remember, remember he broke his jaw? 
uh, Jesse Arthur's back. Yeah. Mate, you know what? His grand final. He's a gun. He he had an outstanding grand final. Jordan Ricky gone suspension for taking uh, Cam Munster's face off. Jack <laughs> Gashevsky, he joins the starting side while Xavier Willison and Kobe Hetherington are in for Carrigan and Hasper. But that's all to do. So it's all that TBA bizzo. The new face on the bench are my man, uh, Fletcher Baker, mm. with the, the um, perfume. Oh, yes. And Marty Tapao, who hasn't been cited for a long time. Tapu. Um, Knights taking on wrong. the Eels. Mc- Tup- oh, the, he has changed it, yeah. Knights taking on the Eels, McDonald Jones Stadium. Now, Brooks, man. Yes. In many ways, this is the grand final, Brian, that a lot of people don't remember. It was a great game, but why don't they remember it, Brian? Which, which grand final? Sorry, bro. Well, okay. You oh, played the last of a certain grand final the following oh, year. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So why do Daylight. many people not remember this grand final? Because they kept the barbecues they've always had for grand final day. And they missed it and everyone's shinless. Everyone was shinless. Got it you. was the very first night grand final. And it pissed down. Yeah. <laughs> it did. It a mate of mine was in bed at half time and never saw the second half. So the Wasn't barbecue it. time's... Was it Dale from Miami? No, 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 no. Yeah, we got to the bottom of Dale from Miami changing his gear. In Nebraska? Yeah, well, he can text in. He can call in. Dale, text in. Oh, in. I need to ask you about your Mort and that shoes, <laughs> St. Petersburg. Oh, we'll get into that a little bit later. <laughs> St. Petersburg. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, Look, let's like take a, us back to 2001, he's got a, actually, though. Listen, he's got, a, he's got a Mort like a mosque. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> let's... <laughs> the nearest. Johns. Rudd up. There and again. Simpson. Back for Kennedy. Trouble. Peden. Peden. Five metres out now, Kennedy. Kennedy's over. Kennedy's in. Our pictures are telling lies. That is a try for Hodgson. Johns. High ball. Tahu's after it. Ball bounces. Came off Tahu. And he grounds the ball. Damana Tahu has scored. Through from Heinmars. Jamie Lyons kick. It's in a touch. I tell you what, Brian. Cre- credit to Parramatta and Heine and the team. Like they were getting smashed. Mm. They had been breaking all records that year. Yeah, and they chased home. Brett Hodgson was terrific in a beaten side. It was all over by halftime. It though. was. That was yeah. Poor old Nathan. I do feel a little bit sorry for him, just a little bit. But n- now I'm done with it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, before I go into the team, so doing a bit of research for Clint Newton yesterday. So he was on a potty with James Graham, and he was talking about when Brian Smith was at the Knights. And there was this play that they had called the shark set, I think he called it. So it was running at the inside shoulder of the halfback continually, and it was switching. And so they were doing it. They had three plays of doing it, and Brian Smith stopped the stopped the training and went, boys, boys, this is rubbish. Yeah, that was it's Joey's play. What's going on? It's Joey's yes. play. So he's like, what are we doing here, guys? This is rubbish. And Joey was there and Clint Newton was there and Betsy and there was a few others. And Joey was like, well, it worked against you in 2001. (laughs) (laughs) And everyone started laughing. And Clint Newton was like, everyone that laughed was pretty much not there the next year. (laughs) We all moved on. (laughs) Oh, It's a good potty. Good one with Clint. But obviously ours is better. Uh, Knights. Will Price will make his debut at 5'8". That's the only change for the Knights. Okay. But Kai Pierce Paul returns from a Uh-oh. toe injury. Toe Uh-oh. injury. So the two new recruits are back for do, the night. Do you think we'll see a headline on the Newcastle Herald? Oh, don't say the price is right. The price is right. No. Please tell me it'll happen. Really? I'm, I'm, I can feel it. I can feel it in my Cro- bones. Crow it? No, I'm not that confident of crowing, I'll, but yeah, let's do it. In an online article, yeah. on a sign by one of the fans. Oh, yeah. Or in the Newcastle Her- Herald, Barry Tui, we'll get the sub <laughs> sub editor to say to his news. The and price the sub editor is right, and the sub editor. <laughs> You're kidding yourself. <laughs> is uh, there such a thing as a sub oh, editor? I don't yes, know. I don't know. But why didn't you say the editor? You just went straight to the sub, sub editor. editor that's what it, yeah, what's, yeah. Did Moscow more? What, what's written it? in the byline, Brian? <laughs> um, don't know. <laughs> don't know. Editor in chief. There's a price <laughs> to pay. Does Buzz have an interest? He's got editor at large. It sounds like he's on the run. Yeah. Editor at large. That's, that's what at large sounds like. At large. Yeah, at yeah large. he's like, what, what have you done, Buzz? Buzz, Eels. Buzz yeah. if you're listening, call in or text me. What does editor, editor at large mean? Mm, let large us know. Large what? Can you <laughs> let us know the, the large side? 
Brooksy, please. Eels, so Mitch Moses named Sevo's back from a hamstring injury, which will mean Sean Russell moves to the centres. Oh, it means Jolie might have something on him at the uh, top try score odds, what he really gambling with. Sorry. Boom. Brooks. And Mustard will drop to 18th man. That's Dejan Arce. Kelma Talungi is suspended, obviously. Bryce Cartwright will start the game. And Matt Dury, former Bulldog, oh, yeah. will join the bench. But the big news for the Eels. After starring in the under-19s game, Matt Arthur is oh, named to make player. his debut off the bench He's wearing it. jersey number 14. Okay, what do you do here, good right? Player. Conundrum, conundrum. So your son is about to make a debut for the club for which you've just been resold from. He gives a jumper out. He has to give the jumper. That'd be classy. So does he still go to the game? He and... has to. Yeah. He has to go in there, give his give the jumper. Yep. Of course. And, and, and you can, you'd do that, wouldn't you? Who? Like, you, like, despite being wrist-old, you'd still turn up and do would. that. You'd give them a bit of a speech. Get in on, boys. Yep. Yeah, I think so. Definitely. What do you think? Is that... Yeah. It's weird, though, isn't it? I think. Yeah, I think you would. It would be a classy move. And, and the players would love it. Trent was the assistant yeah. under Brad. I reckon you'd do it. I reckon he would. You'd or, throw in a case of Mount Franklin. Or do you him. get Jacob in there? If you want to play... If you want to play the straight bat... Just get the brother in. Just get the bro in. No, nah, you got to get. You yeah. got to. You got to get Brad. Get in there, there Brad Arthur. Yeah, get in there, Brad. Bradley. Present the jumper. Good We're calling you, for hashtag. Present the jumper for young <laughs> Matt. Matt. Long hashtag. Yes, it was a big one. <laughs> I'm gonna fit in. I'm gonna get so many characters. Like, um, Is that it, Brooks? Not yes, like yeah, um, done. That's well done. Well done. That Storm and him. the Raiders, <laughs> or as the Doors would say. Raiders and the Storm. Oh, Amy gosh. Park, tourist. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I missed all that. I was talking to Brooks. <laughs> Could you just say that again, please, Joel? Now, the Doors yeah, yeah, yeah. sung about this years ago. They've been fascinated by this clash. Raiders who have a great record yeah. at Amy Park, Brian. Yes. And yeah. what, what was it? What do you call it's it? It's about the Raiders and the Storm. Yeah. And yeah. how do you sing it? Well, Tourist, he's our resident singer. He can sing oh, it. no, no, no. No, you, do it again, you, Sugar. You, you I've already done it. That. It's on, no, it's on I, the podcast. I didn't hear it. If you want to catch up, it's on the podcast or the YouTube, Brian. Oh, uh, go, Mr. Doors. <laughs> Storm versus Jim the Raiders. Amy Park. So for uh, Xavier Coates and Harry Grant, they have yeah. been named to back up. After Origin, Jack Howarth moves from the wing to the centre as he replaces Nick Meany. Bronson Garlick goes to the bench with Christian Wells, Joe Chan, and Big oh, Nelson. Meany's out. Meany's out. Ooh. Um, Rena Smith has been named 18th man as he oh, has to come back from concussion. No Sue for longer. No. He's been put to the reserves. Only started the bench last week, last second, but I, I mean... He's so good. You have to get him. Tell you what, I was I impressed with Jack, young Jack Howarth. Mm. Was it? Like he started, a, didn't he? He um, he's he's destined to be a forward, like in yeah, the back yeah. row. But he defended really well. Sorry, hey, uh, listen, listen up. By the way, what are you really gambling with? Free and confidential <laughs> support. Uh, visit gamblinghelponline.org.au. When you get the news hot off the press, mean he's out. He's mm. the current favourite for the leading point scorer. So look around him. If you can find someone, he's going to miss a game, which might be worth. 10 to 12 points, look for someone else, Brian. You know okay, what I'm saying? Okay. Can someone buy my Stephen Crichton ticket? Snooze, you lose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm willing to sell, I'm willing to sell oh, my no. Stephen Crichton ticket what cost? to someone, 12 bucks. I know. Mm. I'm going to work out what points he'd be on with his tries and Birdo's goals. He'd be right there. It's a travesty. It's an absolute travesty. Uh, anyway, <laughs> For the sorry, Raiders, uh, to hooker Tom Starling, he's returned from concussion. So Zach Walford, he is out as a debut for 24-year-old Jordan Ricky Martin. He makes his debut off the bench. Nick Cottridge, he is out, and he'll be replaced by Albert Hopawate. Okay, you missed that. You missed that. I got it. Mm. Wasn't my best. So that, that was a direct message yeah, for who? The mm. rabbi. Yeah, it wasn't very good, though. I couldn't think of one this week. The, the, rabbi. Rabbi. the rabbi. I was trying to think of a Hockter reference. Couldn't do it. Yeah, you're not allowed to talk about that, apparently. Mm. Move on about Hockter. Okay, let's thing. move on to the red and white versus the white and red. We're talking about <laughs> the Dragons taking on the Dolphins. Uh, big, big game. Ben Hunt, who's been named, he's the captain. He's going to be uh, there. So to Hamiso Tabuai Fado. So they need these players to be stumping up. Moses Suli is back into the contest. He's going to be playing in the centres. Other than that, uh, we're pretty much all intact, I think, for a massive, massive game. Felice Kafusi named on the bench in jersey number 14 for the Dolphins. But what a big game this is. They beat them 38 points to nil in round two of the National Rugby League. The Dragons came out firing. And uh, Tavita Pangai Jr., he uh, turns up for his second week at number 17, taking on another player who's got all the talent in the world, Luciano Leilua, who's also in jersey number 17. Massive, massive match and a massive career. A couple of milestones coming up this week. Uh, Flano plays 
game 200 as an NRL coach, a, an NRL premiership winner. And uh, Trent Robinson plays 300th game. Oh. Well, doesn't play. Coaches yeah. Yeah. his 300th game. Three premierships and maybe pregnant with a fourth. Is he? I don't know. He's looking. He's, he's looking. He's got Detached. a glow about him. Yeah. His hair's looking thick. Yeah. Is he due? Third trimester coming up. Yeah, I think so. Bush. Third yeah, trimester coming up. <laughs> Panthers take on the Cowboys. Brian at Penrith. Let's get into this uh, straight away. The riff. Mitch Kenny and Jackie Cole. They're both back after missing last week's game, uh, round fifteen. That means Summerton and Schneider. They drop back to the reserves. Eisenhuth replaces Trent. Um, to Lau, to Lau, yes. that's what I'm saying. Uh, on the bench, and all of Ivan's representative players will be named. Really? They're named. My Morton's not an editor at my. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was Mosk. That was the Mosky. Uh, Todd Payton, well, he's named five or six Origin stars. Jeremiah Nanai is set to be rested. Ooh. So he's going to be playing Wednesday night, but obviously he's carrying injury. Jordan McLean, are you McLean showing? Well, he is because he's set return from a calf injury, and the big red mm. Jake Clifford is back. He's called in to partner Chatty Towns in the halves. Kyle Felt needs just one try to become the third player in Premiership history. Who's the other two? To Brian? Score ten or more tries in nine consecutive. Do you know who the other two are? I'd say Slater. No. Nope. AJ? No, Kev, Ken Irvine's number one. He's he's done it 10 years in a row. No, he's the only person to ever do that. 10 plus tries 10 years in a row. And AJ hasn't done it? No. There's a Queenslander? No, no. Kiwi, uh, New Zealand player. Francis Melly? No. no. So is Italy? Italy. <laughs> um, Sean Hobby? No. no. Kiwi winger? Yeah. We when he first came onto the scene, a little bit, how are you going with his hands? Oh, Manu. Kenny Dow. No, Manu Vatavoy. Ah. Oh. Yeah, that's a, so that's a. I think that's. I'm glad you mentioned that because that's a huge feat. Only three people in the history of the game. I thought AJ would have been a dollar. No, a dollar one. no. I'm sure that's in front of him. I'm sure that's going to happen. No, it hasn't happened. Uh, there you go. There you go. Well, when you think about it, he only debuted in 2014, the year they won the comp. Yeah, but he's played every year since then. This yeah, but he, he he might be weeks behind Kenny Dow. He wouldn't have scored 10 this year. Kelvin. So I, I, I would suggest that he's... Anyway. That's a good stat. That's a good stat. Alex well Johnson. done to Sean Kenny Dale. Here had we go. Two seasons uh, two, with uh, Cole Felt, rather. AJ had two seasons with less than 10 tries, 2018, 2019. So that's what's pushing him that's back. Right. Yes. Yeah. How yes. many tries did he score in those years? Eight and four. Uh, four. T- four tries in 2019. Must have been injured, right? 15 games. 15 yeah, games. that's right. Yeah, yeah. So it's still quite quiet for him. Um, okay, we all covered that. Panthers... And the Cowboys? Yes. No further questions, Your Honour. Locked, loaded. Roosters take on the West Tigers. Brooksy, Allianz Stadium, the venue. Hey, how's this stat? Crap stat me after this. Two Tigers haven't won three straight since 2018. That's what's... Crap stat. Yeah. That's what's on the... Can I, can, I, can I crap stat you for... You know, they've been, they've been in this situation 12 times and lost that third game 12 oh. times. So what are you saying? It's time. So well, Baker's dozen maybe. Baker's dozen perhaps. Crap stat. I'll give you another crap stat ahead of this oh, game. Geez. Roosters taking the West Tigers. I'll never forget this night because I was panicking Skywalker. I was running my <laughs> first ever marathon. Yes, that's another crap stat. Oh. But I was running that. <laughs> and was it marathon Bruce. Mar- marathon Bruce. Is it marathon Bruce. Yeah, forty-two k Bruce. Indeed. And I needed this game to end. It goes to extra time. It's a massive game. Sean Kenny Dowell, who catches the ball in the north western corner, scores a try in the southeastern corner, and the Roosters are on their way to a grand final. Something special's about to happen here. One gets that feeling. Carney again for himself. He's got the ball back. He passes, and that's the score. Again up the middle. Top, top. Here goes Top Carney. Got support. Mitchell Pierce. Mitchell Pierce. He has scored. In for Peyton. Peyton does the same for Fulton. Intercepted. By Kenny Dow, Gibbs is after him, Fulton's after him. They are not going to get him, although here's Simon Dwyer late, Takiri late, but that's Kenny Dow has scored to win in extra time. The Roosters have won it. 1915.
So you leave there. A, it's gone longer. Can't sleep. Get and now you're now you're panicking about the marathon the next day. It was a tough going, but it's milestone central here, uh, Brooksy. Tigers six hundredth ever game. JWH equals the club record with his three hundred sixth game for the Chooks. James Tedesco one hundred fiftieth for the Chooks. Coach Robinson three hundredth game as a coach. It is raining milestones. It's raining milestones. There's a few changes for the Chooks. Supernua's going into the centres for Junior um, Ponga. He won't Who's start games. Yeah, you reckon? He won't shift? start. Who's on the bench? Who's on the bench? You want to know the Who's bench? Who's in the Straight squad? Straight up. Lenny uh, White, Butcher, Collins. Michael Jennings, number 22. Oh, he's back. Well, he's named. He's named. Okay, he's back. And he's back. Yeah, you've got Terrell May's name to start again after 80 minutes last week. Lindsay Collins has been named on the bench. See how he goes after Origin. So too, Crichton. Connor Watson named to start. Len you on the bench with Collins. Tigers. So pretty much the same team as last week, position-wise and in total. But Clemmer's back. He's on the bench. And you also got Bateman and Olam in the ex- in the reserves. Okay. So they could be late inclusions too. Luke Laulili. I love him. B- bit start of a young on Brian Toll. Yes. Yeah. He was. How good was that dart? Love he just it. sniffed it out of dummy yep. half, went over. Good senses there from Luke. And Adam Dewey will retain his role in the centres. I've got a crap stat for you. So Go again. I was having a look at Galvin. So Galvin, in his first seven games, he was averaging about sort of 90 metres running the ball. His last four, close to 160. Oof. He's getting very, very comfortable with first grade. Uh, tourists, three teams have the bye. In the words of Don McLean, it's bye-bye, Miss American Pie, for the Seagulls, Titans and Rabbitohs. Bye. At least say hi bye. to the rabbi bye. when you yeah. say that. Bye. Or in sync. Or in or yeah, sync. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. I, did, I got it wrong Last time when I tried that one. Hey, so back straight, boys. Boys. Hey, boys. So we're back straight, yeah. In the ad break, remind me the fun fact about um, Jessica Beale I have. Oh, oh do break. tell. <laughs> do t- tell. And if you know about that, uh, you can be in the chance to be Call of the Week thanks to Wicked Group, your premier partner for authentic memorabilia and comprehensive fundraising solutions by calling 1300 01 1170. So, anyway, so Jessica Beale, uh, browser. 